What's up guys? Yes, it is another review today from RAE Gear. Can you tell that I like this guy's uh, design and sheaths? Because I do. Um, I'm outside today, so if you hear some background noise, that's why. It's beautiful here in Arizona, so I thought I would come outside and get some natural light and do a review outside of the garage. So what I have here today is, um, first off, if you haven't seen my other videos, I had ordered this Leatherman Wave sheath uh, through RAE gear, nice low profile design sheath, and uh, since then have had some communication with the uh, owner and designer of the sheaths, Justin, and uh, I had nothing but high praise for his design, and so he sent out a couple things for me to review. I have another review on my channel if you want to look it up. He makes a pistol mag pouch or sheath, whatever it is that you want to call it. I've been told in the comment section that it's officially a pouch, but whatever you want to call it. Uh, I've done a review on one that he sent out to me, and at the same time he also sent this out. And this is just a quick little review on the Super Tool 300 sheath that he also makes. It is a little bit different. It uh, does not have the the sides here that flare in like like this one does here. This is the one for the uh, this is the one with the bit kit definitely should check these out if you haven't seen them but this is the one with the bit kit for the wave wave plus um, you can adjust the tabs here a little bit the design of the wave kind of has this coffin look to it with these edges on here so it allows you to uh, kind of have that ability to taper those sides but on the super tool it's just a straight line and even has these little tabs here so it's a little bit of a design challenge to put something together, but he's done a really great job with it. I'm going to show you a couple things and also explain a couple things to you. This is it right here. Again, it has, uh, much like the other ones, it has a one and a half inch uh, belt loop that you can order. Or you can order the larger, I think it's two and a half or two inch something uh, that uh, is for duty belts. But uh, it's a, like a powder coated black, nice low profile uh, metal sheath. And let me show you how it works. I will show you right now. Um, I've already had a little bit of wear here, and I actually think that's a good thing, and I'm going to tell you why here in a minute. But here's the sheath. Um, by the way, let me get it. Let me uh, explain this first of all. My name is not Ezra. I bought this uh, tool on OfferUp, and uh, for those of you who love multi tools, I have found that OfferUp has uh, sometimes some awesome prices on Leathermans that people don't want anymore. Hopefully they're not stolen, but you just never know with OfferUp. But either way, I got this from a really nice gentleman on OfferUp, and uh, it was a great deal. I think I paid maybe 15 bucks for this thing, so I was stoked. So check out your local area on OfferUp. Type in Leatherman, and it's, uh, uh, I don't know, where I'm at, it has quite a few options. But sometimes people ask on reasonable prices, but every once in a while you get a, a great deal. But this did not even come with a sheath, so I'm really glad to get this one from Justin. And this is the one I will probably use. Um, let me show you how it works. So it just has a, it's a bit tighter than the, the wave, but it just slides in there. It's got amazing retention. It's not going to go anywhere. Um, I, I actually feel kind of stupid because it does have enough of a tension that at first I actually thought it went in this way and I messed up and I was trying to put it in there. I was like, well, that doesn't work. It just slams into this. Now you, you can get it in there, but it just falls right out that way. So the proper way is upside down slide it in and you're good to go. A simple push up from the bottom will uh, take it out of the sheath. Um, when it's on your belt, the one thing I have noticed at the very beginning is when you pull this thing straight out, it's kind of a non-issue. But what happens when it's on your belt, and let me show you, when it's on your belt and you start pulling up, it's going to naturally kind of turn a little bit, even ever so slightly upwards. And what I found is at the very beginning it seemed a little bit tight, and that's because these rivets here are hitting the bottom, just at about that point. That's why you see that mark there. So I'm actually looking forward to when this wears down. I mean, some of you might see it as a design flaw. I don't. Uh, any tool that you have is going to wear, and I think actually as soon as that wears down a little bit, it's going to be, um, sorry about the focus, it's going to be really smooth execution for inserting and uh, taking it back out so great design great option probably my favorite option for Leathermans um, let me show you the sheath I've been using for this thing let me get this stuff out of the way sorry um, 
This is the Molly sheath. It's a sheath I would use. Like I said, I didn't get one when I got this. Uh, I just bought it from the gentleman like that. Didn't have a sheath. But this is the Molly sheath. And you know, these things, you know, they're not in the best of shape here. They get kind of worn on a heavier tool. They also seem to sag a little bit when I attach it to Molly. But the biggest thing I hate is not only do you have to pull up this Velcro, but if you look inside here, that's what happens to the bit kit. Even if you have a bit kit in there, every time you try to reinsert the tool, let me show you what I'm talking about. Every time you try to reinsert the tool, it ends up hitting that, that elastic that they've put in there for the bit kit. And that happens even on the other one. Let me see if I can show you another one. I know that this might be a slightly smaller sheath, but it's one that I have handy and available, but it seems to happen to all the Leathermans. It's just kind of a design issue. They've tried to make it to where you can put the bit kit in there, but when you go down to reinsert your multi-tool in the sheath, you know, it ends up wearing, and after a while you've got this raggedy edge that actually kind of gets in your way of, of, of putting this thing back in. That one's not as bad, but I notice I keep this one on my go bag, and it's attached to the molly on the side, and so if I open this thing up and try to put the tool back in, a lot of times I'm fighting with that thing. See? I have to, sometimes I have to even come over here and and try to insert it that way. It's just, it's kind of a pain in the rear. So, not my favorite sheaths. You know this if you saw my other videos, but um, this thing, this thing is awesome right here. Great little sheath from RAE Gear. Um, you can check them out at www.raegearusa.com. Um, tons of options there for a bunch of different multi tools and uh, American made, American company. You should definitely support American companies. Um, I think that's about it, guys. I hope you have a great day, and I'll talk to you next time. Sorry, guys. I wanted to go ahead and add one more bit of commentary um, because I had a comment on my review of the Leatherman sheath from RAE Gear. Um, a gentleman in the comment section said that some of the people he has seen on multi-tool uh, forums and stuff uh, say they weren't fans of this sheath because they felt like it was uh, wearing away the finish on their multi-tool, uh, especially the black oxide. Um, you know, I've had this thing only a couple of weeks. Uh, that's what I told the gentleman who left the comment. And uh, I already have some signs of wear, uh, even the pocket clip itself you know, leaves a little bit of wear. It's just kind of the way it goes. But I'll tell you guys the same thing that I told him, okay? Um, you can be upset with all the wear and tear, but the multi-tool realm is a lot like the handgun realm, okay? You can buy these things to collect. You can buy them to um, Put on a shelf and not use except rare occasion and I do understand what it's like to have a tool that you don't want to have ruined but at the same time much like a handgun um, you're gonna use it it's a tool that's what this is this is a th th this multi-tool is an engineering marvel that you can have this many tools in this small of a package so if you're using this all the time it's gonna get worn you know worrying about a sheath that's as low profile as this and makes your life easier, I don't know, worrying about the wear and tear, that doesn't make much sense to me. I, I can certainly understand it because I know there's people that collect things. So if you collect, maybe this sheath is not for you. But if you're using your multi-tool every day, trying to worry about whether it's gonna wear and tear is kinda like trying to take a gun to the range and making sure that it never has any marks on it. You know, it's just not realistic. So, um, you know, just thought I'd share that with you since I saw that comment and I thought it was a, a valid comment uh, on one criticism I saw with this uh, metal sheath from them. But uh, to me, it's a non-issue. If you collect, maybe this sheath is not for you. But either way, I think it's a great option and just wanted to share that information with you. Thanks.